Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make some faux glossine bags from freezer paper. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have got freezer paper, but I do, and I don't really use it to put anything in my freezer. Uh, you know, they got those new freezer bags now that everybody has got, and besides, normally we don't have a lot of leftovers or anything to put in the freezer. <laughs> so, this is just plain freezer paper. It is glossy on one side and then matte on the other side. And I have gone ahead and done a couple just in different sizes. I've got one tall pocket and then one that's a little bit shorter. And then I've just done some different things on top of them and I'm going to use these for pockets in my journals. I want this one to be a tall slender pocket so that you would put a, let's see if I've got a tag that's about this size. Probably don't, but anyway. You would make a smaller tag long that would go in there. And of course you would just glue them down to your journal page just as usual. Now these you can put anything on. You don't have to have a lot of things in your stash. You don't have to have stamps. You don't have to have anything except some freezer paper and some glue. And then just a few pieces of scraps. And you've got it. You have got it ready to go. Now, these I've already cut down, but you can cut yours down to whatever size that you want. This one I made, uh, this one's five and a half, and it is three and a half wide. And then this one is three and a half wide, and it is seven and a half tall. So just decide what size you want, depending on your journal. And I'm just going to make various sizes for my journals. Now, I've cut this piece, it is, let's see, this is nine and a half, and it's almost five wide. I just kind of cut it, I didn't really measure. It's probably four and three quarters, looks like. So, what we're going to do is, I folded it in half. I've got the um, slick side on the inside. I don't want to, I don't want my slick side on the outside. And then I'm just going to score at one half inch on either end. And I just flip it around because it's a little bit easier for me to get to like that. Now, I like to go ahead and fold over some at the top because, you know, this is pretty tough, but it's not quite as tough as I'd like it. So I like to go ahead and fold over a little bit at the top. So again, I'm just going to score at almost half an inch. All I'm doing is just making sure that I've got a, enough to fold over. And then I'm, I do that too to also, even, <laughs> I do that too to also, hey, like that. I also do that to even up the top in case I've cut it wrong, which I normally do. I didn't cut these anyway with my trimmer. I just used my little knife and cut them. And then you're just gonna fold that over like that on both ends. That's going to be the part that you'll fold over just to strengthen that top. Let me grab my little scissors here. Okay, I'm going to open that back up and then I'm just going to cut across, cut that little corner out there on both ends. These are easy and quick to make and you can take one little piece of freezer paper and just make tons of them. And if you don't have freezer paper, but you have maybe um, deli paper or something like that, you can do the same things. Same thing. Now on each side where I fold it over that, or where I scored that half inch, I'm going to fold that over. Oops. Come on now. Play, play good today. Okay, maybe that'll work right there. And then I fold it up and just look at it to see if I've got my sides somewhat near even. And it looks like this one needs to go in maybe a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, you only need one of these flaps. You don't need them all the way down because this is going to be like the front side, the back side of your pocket. You don't need all of these flaps all the way down. So we're going to cut some of these off. 
and you just decide which one you want to be the front and which one the back, it doesn't matter. And my cutting is not straight, don't worry about it. That's gonna go on the inside like that. So it's it doesn't matter. It does need to be a little bit narrower. So always cut on the inside of your score line. Now we're just gonna glue this down. And I have been using just my glue stick. It seems to work. And I've got ink on mine, so just ignore the looks of it. <laughs> I actually dropped it in my ink pad, so now I've got ink on my glue stick. But it'll still be all right. Okay. And then we're going to put, I'm going to go ahead and trim that a little bit more right there. And there. It doesn't look like I got that glued well enough, so let's put another little swipe on there. Okay. Now you're just going to open this up, or fold it up, I should say, and then we'll press it down. See why I'm saying it doesn't have to be cut exactly straight? Because all that's going to go on the inside and you're not going to see it anyway. Now, here is your little pocket. Now all we have to do is decorate it. Now you can use whatever you want to decorate. You don't have to do any particular thing. I'm just going to grab probably some of our stencils. This is the, ooh, my mind just went blank. This is the ceiling stencil that Melina made. <laughs> I'll link all of the stencils and everything that I'm using below. I can't remember. Victorian ceiling or something to that effect. I don't know. You know, I can't remember things too well these days. And I'm probably just going to use some brown on here. And I'm just going to ink through real lightly. I'm not going to ink it dark. And if it sticks to your fingers like it's doing mine, there we go. Isn't that pretty, that design? Okay. Then I'm going to take our stitch stencil, and this is one that Melina also designed. And let's see, trying to decide. I think I want to put... I think I want to put this little ivy around the edge. Let me grab some green. Okay, I'm going to use my pine needle and then I'm just going to use a smaller little. You can use your blending tool if you want to. I'm just going to use this, I think. It's probably got lots of different colors of ink on there, but maybe it'll work. Okay, I'm going to hold it down there. This looks a little bit bluish green, but that's okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is pretty. I have to admit. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing down here. A little sponge would do the same thing if you had a little sponge. This just happens to be what I have in my stash, so I'm just going to use it. Okay, our little, little one there. Cool. I love that. 
And I'm not going to put any up here because I'm going to punch my little pull there. But isn't that cute? Looks almost Christmassy, I think. <laughs> I guess that's the reason it's called Pine Needle, huh? Right. Now, I want to put a few more embellishments on here. So let's see what we can come up with. Let's put that little piece on there. And then... Well, one that runs the other direction, if I can find one. And y'all remember, um, I, it seems like every time I get on here, I ask you guys for prayer for somebody, for my family. But, you know, you, you guys are my friends. And I believe that you can get in touch, get in touch with the healer, the great healer. So anyway... Um, my niece, she's young and she's in very bad shape right now. She is in the hospital. She has had, she's got double pneumonia. She has, her kidneys are failing. She's on a ventilator. Um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Everything that's going on, I just <clears throat> almost more than I can stand right at this moment. But anyway, um, she's always been kind of like my little girl. I named her for my sister. And um, we've been out of touch the last couple of years because of some things that she has been doing in her life. And... Uh, but anyway, I still love her, love her to death, and I just want you guys to remember her, if you will, and lift her up, Let God, that God will heal her. She's got a lot to live for. She's got lots of grandbabies and more grandbabies on the way. And anyway, <clears throat> I have to get off of that for right now, but if you guys would just remember Jennifer. I know some of you have seen Melina's post <clears throat> on Facebook, but just remember her, if you will, and her family. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm just going to grab some different scraps and put on here. This is a good way just to use up some of your scraps. And this is just an old advertisement. I'm going to put that down and I think I'm going to tuck, I meant to tuck this up under there and I actually glued that all the way down, didn't I? I'm going to tuck that right there, I believe. Maybe. Let me think. Let me look at it. Yeah, I think I'll tuck that right there. And then we'll put a, another little piece, maybe like that. Let's see which one looks the best. And these are out of that uh, Tim Holtz Couture collection. I think I'll put this one down. There we go. And that's probably going to be all that I put on that one. Let me look at it. Yeah, I don't think it needs much more. And then we'll go ahead and punch out a little pull at the top. And of course, you could put many other things on it. You could decorate it any way you want, even with scrap paper. It doesn't matter. Just decorate it up like you want it. But that is another little pocket. I think that's cute. And the good thing about it is with that slick part being on the inside, your tags will just slide in and out so easy. Cute. Okay, that's that one. Let's make, I think I want to make another tall one. See how tall this is. 
I think I'm going to cut this one back to about six. And I'm actually not going to cut it. I'm just going to tear it. <laughs> and I know somebody out there, some mean-spirited person, might say, well, what are you doing, doing videos, when your family is in such a shape? Well, there's absolutely nothing that I can do other than pray for my family and for my husband. And this, if I sit and just do nothing, I'll go crazy. So talking to you guys and crafting is my release. So that is why. Now, not to say that, heaven forbid, something happen that I won't stop doing videos because I, for a while because I will. But right now, instead of sitting around and just letting it drive me crazy and worrying about it and all that kind of stuff, this, I have to just get out here and craft. I have to just do what I can do. I can't dwell on it all right see we did this one the same way one half inch on each side and then just a little bit at the top to turn over and go ahead and just fold your pieces up now I will tell you that freezer paper doesn't like to fold as well as maybe your vellum and that kind of thing whoops my piece fell over over there because even though you score it, it doesn't like to fold. It just, it fights with you. So you just have to fight back with it. See, mine, even though I folded it, or scored it, mine's not wanting to fold in the right area. It's okay. We will make it one way or another. And you could probably score a little bit harder than I do, but I don't want to tear through it, so I'm just kind of going easy. And you could fold it over by hand. You don't have to score. I have folded a few of them over by hand myself. But my folding over by hand is not too great. <laughs> so. Okay. Now, again, make sure you cut on the inside of that score line. And inside of that score line. Okay, so there is our pocket right there. And see, that's a little bit narrower. So, and then decide what we want to put on this one. What shall we put on this one? I think I want to use this again. This is a stencil that we have in the store. And I think this one is called Postage, if I'm not mistaken. I used this one on one of the others, but I thought it was really cute. Now I'm just going to lay it down like that. Now I'm actually just going to use this same little blending brush. I'm going to blend that on there. Oh, whoops. Knock things over as I do it. And you can make places darker if you want. Other places lighter. There we go. See, isn't that pretty? You can see. I didn't even take mine out of the packaging. Oh, so look at that. I like that. And then we'll embellish a little bit on here. 
And when it comes to the embellishing, you guys know you can, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can just pull whatever you want in, in this. I think I'll use a little bit of this. This is some vellum that came in one of our, I think it came in one of our e-club kits a little while ago. And that's going to be just about the perfect size right there. And we're going to use some of our Barely Arts. Now I haven't had this open in a little while, so I'm going to twist it. Twist and pull, twist and pull. It works fine. So there we have that, and then I got, this was in that same pack that we got in our kits, and I think I'll put one of these little stickers on there. It's just some little clear postage type stickers, so let's do it like that. And maybe, let's see. I do this round one down here if I can get it off. Around there. Okay, I think I'll put a piece of this on there, so I'm just going to cut it. Save the rest for another project. Then let's see if there's any little piece that we might want to put on there somewhere. Just a tiny little something. Don't know. Okay, I think I'll put this. It says Class C, number nine. It's just, this is out of that same collection, the Couture Ephemera from Tim Holtz. And then I've got this little tiny piece of ephemera. Stick that right there, and then stick this little piece right across there. Just want to make it look like it's been traveled over different places, like a bill of lading. Okay, so there is another one. I just think they're cute and they're so easy to make. And it's just a way to use some of your freezer paper and make something different. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly what I made, but you can decorate them up any way you want. You can make them as big or as small as you want. And you, as you know, freezer paper is kind of strong. It's not real, real flimsy. So there's lots of different things that you can do with this. I mean, I'll probably figure out ways to use lots of this. I have a pretty good size roll, and as I said, I don't use it anymore for freezing or anything like that, so I'll probably figure out lots of different ways to use this. So hang around. Who knows what we'll make out of it. All right, guys, I think that's all that I'm going to do today. I just wanted to show you what you can do with some freezer paper if you have it. If you don't have freezer paper, you can use deli paper. Um, whatever you have in your stash that it can be white, it can be clear, doesn't matter. Just grab something out and make some cute pockets. Use up some of your pieces of ephemera and scrap paper. That's what I did. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.